All right, friends, let's get started today in child's pose. So go ahead and reach your arms all the way to the front of your mat. Sit right over to your heels. And then go ahead and bring the palms of your hands together, bending your elbows in a prayer position. What we're doing here is taking a moment to release the body in child's pose while at the same time giving the triceps and the upper body a little bit more of a deeper stretch. And just feeling yourself release into the mat here as you welcome this practice. As you take a deep breath in and exhale any tension out of your mind, out of your body. Giving yourself permission to go into the present moment. To simply focus on your breath, on your movement, and on your connection to yourself, your body, and your mind. Beautiful. Just take another deep breath in here. And then slowly as you exhale, extend in the elbows and just release the hands back down onto the mat. And then slowly roll yourself forward into all fours position. We're going to take our puppy pose. So what you're going to do is just simply let the chest and the heart drop towards the earth. Same thing with the arms. Palms together. Bend at your elbows. And allow your chest to slowly let go closer towards the earth with each exhalation. Feeling yourself open up through the heart, through the upper back through the shoulders, feeling that nice stretch in the triceps. Making sure that your hips are staying directly over top of your knees. Again, just really focus on your breath. Let your breath be the guiding force of your practice today. And with each exhalation, I want you let go of that tension, that energy, that resistance that is no longer serving you in any way. Exhale it out and give yourself permission to surrender to the moment. Inhale. And slowly exhale. Go ahead and extend your elbows. Begin to roll yourself up. So look to the front of your mat and then start to round through the spine. Walk your hands back, tuck your toes underneath and then press into the hands as you lift the hips up towards the sky coming into your downward facing dog keeping your feet open and apart, walk it out on the spot first. By adding this gentle movement, you're releasing any tension or stiffness in the back of your legs, releasing tension out of your hamstrings, your calves, opening through that downward facing dog and taking that big exhale out. Let your heart open up, chest is open, your sternum is falling towards the mat palms of your hands are grounded and secure on the earth, feeling every finger on your mat, pressing, grounding, feeling that energy. Beautiful. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, begin to walk your feet to the front of your mat. Now take maybe four or six steps until you come all the way forward. Keep your feet slightly apart to make this easier. And then relax your body over top of your legs. Grab your opposite elbows and begin to rock side to side. Allowing your entire upper body to be super loose here. Giving into the gravity. Letting yourself decompress the spine. Inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly round up to standing. Holding onto those elbows. Coming up into a straight back. Then reaching both arms up to the sky. And then exhale, bring your hands over to your heart and place both hands on your heart. Close your eyes and take this opportunity right now to just find that center. Feel your feet grounded on the mat. Feel your heart beating in your chest, reminding you of your practice, of your presence, of your breath. Beautiful. One more inhale. This time reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, dive all the way down into forward fold, bend your knees. Feel free to open up your feet a little bit if that's easier. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back into your plank position. Chaturanga or drop the knees down, the chest and then the chin to the mat. 
sliding yourself forward, coming up into your upward facing dog. And then exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Breathe it out. Again, coming back to that breath, coming back to that intention. Letting go of all that no longer serves you, physically, mentally, spiritually. Let it go with each exhale. Once you're ready, I'd like you to reach your right leg up towards the sky. Bend that knee and then place that right foot to the outside of your mat, coming into your lizard pose. Drop the back knee to the mat. Hands are grounded. And here you can either stay where you are or come on down lower onto your elbows if that feels more comfortable for you today. Or another variation is to press that right knee away from your body with that same hand. And then as you're pressing that knee away from you, you're slightly leaning back. So the goal and purpose of this particular posture is for you to find exactly what feels right on your body. Notice where your body is holding on to tension. Find that spot in your hips or your hip flexor and breathe deeply into it. Inhale. Now as you exhale, release that hand. Bring it back over towards the mat if it's not already there. See if you can bring the chest lower towards the ground and hold here. Now you can either stay on your elbows or you can even rest your forehead like I'm doing. It all depends on how this feels on your body today. Inhale, come back up now. Tuck your back toes. We're going to simply transition into our pigeon pose by bending that front knee, bring the heel towards the outside of your hip, and then bring that front knee towards the front of your mat. So right knee at your right thumb, other shin is down, you're walking yourself over to your elbows, and then dropping your body all the way down. I like to stack my hands and my forearms and then rest my forehead down. But again, please listen to how it feels on your body. Maybe you'd like to grab a prop, placing a pillow underneath your hip, or a yoga block if you have one. Or perhaps you just want to stay up higher with your upper body. Finding that position that allows you to go deep into the piriformis muscle, into your glute, and then breathing deeply and peacefully into it. Our glutes tend to hold to a lot of tension, a lot of stress. So I want you to relax. I want you to let go into this posture. And with each exhalation, mindfully and consciously, let go of whatever's been holding you back. Let go of the fear, the anxiety, the uncertainty. And find this deeper peace and acceptance of being exactly where you are today. Remembering that this life is a journey and you will make it through whatever it is that life throws your way. And in this moment right now, I just want you to breathe. I want you to breathe it all out. I want you to let go of everything that is holding you back.